Hello, welcome to Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. In the previous video, you have learned how to create the layout of hotel reservation sample and the model. In this video, you will learn how to create the view models and bind them to the controls. First, create a class for view model that inherits from view model base class named room type view model. View model acts as a bridge between model and view. Create the constructor of room type view model. Then, use propful code to create a property. Change the type to list of room type. Name the property as items. In the getter, create a new list of room type if the items is null, and add new instances of room type object to the list. Next, create another view model that inherits from view model base class named Hotel Reservation View Model. Create the constructor for Hotel Reservation View Model. After that, create a property using propful code snippet. Name the property as Hotel. Then, add the onPropertyChange method. In the constructor, Set the default values for some properties in hotel. Set the special request to true. Set the date from property to today date, and the date to property to tomorrow date. Create a property with type delegate command, named book now command. Each delegate command should have can execute and execute method. Can execute method determines whether the command should be executed, while execute method represents the method that will be executed. Create a method, named can execute book now, that returns true. After that, create a method named execute book now. Add a code to show a message box 
indicating that users have successfully booked a hotel room. Instantiate a new delegate command for book now command property. Declare execute book now as the execute method and can execute book now as the can execute method. Now, bind the controls to the view model. Go to main page XAML and define the namespace of hotel reservation view model. Define the UX page resources. In the layout root grid, set the data context property to hotel reservation view model. Go to data context properties, choose the source, static resource, UX page dot resources, then hotel reservation view model. Now, bind the controls one by one. Go to guest name text block and bind the value of text property to hotel.guest name property. Use two-way binding mode to indicate the direction of the data flow, which is from view to view model and vice versa. Perform the same steps to email and phone. Next, bind the value of from and to date time pickers to date from and date to properties respectively. After that, bind the room type list to list box. Define the data context in room type field label tag. In source section, choose static resource, UX page dot resources, then room type view model. Next, bind the item source property to items object. Set the display member path to name and image member path to image. Next, bind the value of UX numeric up down control to hotel dot number of room property. The radio buttons in special request section are automatically set to the same group, so only one of them is bound. In this case, bind the checked state property of non-smoking radio button to hotel dot special request property. Bind the book now button to book now delegate command. Build and run the project.
you have successfully created a hotel reservation sample. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. For further information, you can visit our website at www.intersoftpt.com.